Hi guys and welcome to FDM Transtastic. I'm Emil and this week's topic is how we feel about Pride Month. It's also a guest week which means that Gabriel, our guest, bought the guest perk on our Indiegogo campaign earlier this year and got to decide the topic for a week and post a video. So um, Gabriel and I are posting on the same day which is today and I think it's a really interesting topic. It's not one that I would probably ever have thought about, but I think it's going to be really interesting to hear the different viewpoints. So I have to start off with saying that I have not been to many prides. I've literally only been to one, but last year I was uh, looking at the pride parade, that's basically all I did, and this year I unfortunately missed pride because I was at a pop culture convention called NACOL, which means that I missed uh, the Pride Week in Stockholm, and I missed the Pride Parade as well. But I know that there were some photo exhibitions, there were some panel talks, and stuff like that, that I really would have liked to go to. But yeah, so I don't have a lot of experience of uh, Pride, particularly the events that are not the Pride Parade, but I have heard discussions about Pride, and I definitely see the media coverage, and yeah, so I do have some things to say. I think it's very important that we are very of not making the whole Pride event too sexualized. I do understand that for some people, expressing their sexuality in quite a graphic way is their freedom, and it's their way of expressing and celebrating their sexuality and their identity, and I definitely think that should be allowed, I think that's important, and I think we should strive to have a more sex-positive society, but I don't think we should make the Pride event too sexualized. I can't really tell you exactly concretely why I think that. Partly it's because like I don't want people that are not LGBT plus to look at the Pride Parade and just see hyper-sexualized things, but then again, I don't want to like censor the LGBT plus community because of cishet feelings, you know? I mean, there are also there are children who want to watch the Pride Parade. I mean, queer children, LGBT plus children that want to look at the Pride Parade and partake in Pride, but they should not have to be exposed to hypersexualized content or things because of that. And I mean, sure, there are ways to avoid the hypersexualized parts of the Pride Parade by, you know, you know, not looking at those particular parts of the parade or not walking close to them. But uh, still, I think we really have to remember that sometimes our radical expression of our identity could make somebody else uncomfortable or could make the event that you're at a little less accessible. So I think while we should definitely have the freedom to be able to relax and just express ourselves and our identities and celebrate who we are because that's really really important to have fun and celebrate who we are I also think it's important to as a community be mindful of everyone within the community and to treat each other with respect just like we want people outside of the community to be mindful of us and treat us with respect you know um, it's it's a difficult thing because it's hard to make everybody happy when people are so different but I don't think it's hard to just think twice and be a little mindful and just create a more accepting environment so yeah that's just a little thing that I wanted to say and it segues into something else and that is that I wish there were more focus within the whole Pride event on what it was from the beginning because Pride started with Stonewall right it started with the need to stand up for ourselves because the world wouldn't give us our basic rights. So we had to stand up for ourselves and demand them. I wish there was more focus on that. I wish there was more focus on intersectionality and on intercommunity issues like cissexism. And I wish there was more focus on discussing how we as a community can move forward and work to get the rights that we don't yet have or help people in need within our community and stuff like that. But as I said, I have only seen the Pride Parade. I have not physically been in any other Pride um, event, such as panel talks or anything like that. So I don't know if that is also a very big focus. Maybe it is in some parts of the world, maybe in some other parts it's not. I don't really know, but I think it, it's important to remember what Pride was originally for, because Pride was a need. That's not to say that fun and celebrating who we are 
with music and dancing and celebrating is an important because it's definitely super important to be able to have fun, to express ourselves, to feel like we have this day or this month or this week where we can, you know, just be ourselves and, and it, it's okay, you know. And that is definitely super, super important as well. And I don't think I have to tell you why that is super important. So yeah, that's what I have to say about Pride. Again, I have not been to a lot of Pride events, so I'm not the most knowledgeable person to speak about Pride, but these are just some thoughts and reflections uh, I have around the whole concept of Pride and um, around the celebration from the way that I have heard my friends talk about it and other people that I've seen talk about it and stuff like that. So yeah. Yeah. What do you think about Pride? What are your feelings about it? Do you celebrate it? Do you not? Why? How do you feel about it? What's the best part of Pride for you? Tell me in the comments and I will see you next week. Love you guys. Bye.